A postcard today is from the parish of St Sampson's on the island of Guernsey. We're in Oatlands Village. I just love these like little chocolate buttons. Absolutely delicious. You know I'm a chocoholic, don't you? Had you heard? Because yes. ever since I've been in here, what have I been doing? Eating. Eating what? Chocolate. All oh, those chocolates. <laughs> Do you know they were full when I first arrived? <laughs> and now, well, there's a few missing. <laughs> They are very, very delicious. How do you go about making them? Because you've got your little, I'll tell you what, this is lovely to squeeze. <laughs> you know like when you're a bit nervous and people give you that, another bit of chocolate, and people give you those things to go like that with for your nerves. The stress ball. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> is this a nice stress ball? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> but it's not really, is it? Because it's full of really good, lovely stuff. How do you go about making your chocolate? The chocolate is first melted. We keep it melted in the machines. And then the temperature's turned down and we add the chocolate beans to cool it. Oh, so that brings the temperature down. Yeah, so that it mixes the fats evenly through the chocolate and that gives it the nice crispness and the shine. Oh, that's lovely and gooey. What temperature is that then? That's um, 31 degrees. And now you're going to scoop it off. You don't waste a thing. No. OK, this machine vibrates to get the air bubbles out. Okay. When the air bubbles are out, we turn them upside down and it takes all the excess off and just le lines the mould. Right, oh, so, so it's just been lined now? Yeah. Oh, so that means then you can put fillings in. That's right. Because it's just a shell. That's right. I, listen, I don't understand this how I'm daft, but I've only just cottoned on to this now. <laughs> yeah, that's Because you've all got right. to put the gooey stuff in, haven't that's you? That's right. Right. Okay. The fillings are made out of um, cream. Cream mixed with melted chocolate, warm chocolate. Mix it through. Yeah. And we just, we just put in a preservative. Gives it an extra shelf life. And then... Um, it's a basic ganache that makes when it's cold, and then we we add our flavours. You called that a ganache. A ganache. Yeah. Then we add our flavours and alcohol and whatever. What have into you got in that one? Then? This one's got honey in. Honey. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. So we're going to do a little bit of piping. It's a so lovely the, consistency, isn't it? It's nice and creamy. Oh, that's lovely. And have you got a chocolate shell with this as well? Is there a shell on this one? Yeah, that one's been... That one's done oh, already. Oh, yes, look. Yeah, you leave them. You leave them to go to cool. Yeah. And then you pipe in your filling. So when, what I'll do you do now, I'll show you after then? that. Uh, then it's backed. Oh, so then you've got to put the top on? Yeah. Now, how long will these then take <laughs> before they're ready to eat? Do you have to leave them overnight? Uh, no. The, if the chocolate's at the correct temperature, they only take an hour or so to set. Before they're done? Yeah. The quicker the chocolate sets, that means it's at the correct temperature. Right. And then they just turn, when they're set, they just turned out like an ice cube. So tray. you leave it there like that now? Where yeah. would you leave those? I'll leave that on my marble slab because that's yeah. nice and cool. And is that one of your butterflies that yeah, you've just done? Yeah, I'd like to try one. Yeah, and that's got the honey ganache in, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, I was never one for putting wings off butterflies. Mm. Mm, I love that filling. <laughs> mm. I'm a sucker for chocolate, <laughs> but I love that filling. I've not had a honey ganache. Mmm. 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 Mm.